All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the next section here on proportional graphs. Here we go. I got a graph for you, and I got the algebras in there. And I was just curious, what do you guys think? Who puts the pro in proportional graphs? I'm saying right here, this guy over here. That's right, Mr. Bruss. This would be the portion of the graph that we would say is pro. Boom, there it is. Awesome. All right, let's get some of these. Let's get these faces out of here. Let's talk about graphs. So, quick refresher of graphs. So, I know you did a little bit of this last year. Um, we're going to do kind of a quick refresher. Let me get to my pen. So, this is our normal graph for plotting points. And here are some keys that we got to take away. This is the x axis. So, right here is the x axis. Uh, and then, what is the other one? That would be your y axis. So, these are how we plot points along the X or along the Y. So for example, let's change color here. If I said, oh, I want to plot the point 2, 5. What does that mean? It means you go in the X direction, then the Y direction. So this is a point X comma Y. In this case, 2, 5 would be over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we put a dot right there. That is the point 2 comma 5. So we're not going to plot a ton of points, but I want you to be familiar with naming points on the graph. Another really important part of the graph besides the x and y axis is this point right here. What's so exciting about this point right here? Well, what are the coordinates? What are the if I had to label that point, what would it be? It would be 0 0. Nothing nothing. And why is this so important? Uh, well, it's going to come up a lot of our word problems. It's called the origin. It's where do you originate from? It's the origin of the graph. So, those are the key phrases I want you to know the x axis, the y axis and the origin. Um, that's stuff we're going to need for this section. Cool. So let's go ahead and take some notes on this, make sure we're good to go. I'm going back to that Pac-Man problem from the first one about the little the carnival race. And every time I hear when we talk about Pac-Man, I think of that noise, that waka, 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 as he's eating the little, I mean, that's just me, I don't know. Um, so Pac-Man, remember, traveled 18 feet every six seconds in that little game. So basically, we filled in the table. So it all keeps coming back to this, the constant of proportionality or that unit rate. The same thing is how fast is Pac-Man going? So we've done it before. We know he goes 18 feet every six seconds. And if I reduce that bad boy, remember six goes into 18 three times. So we know it's 18 feet per second, which is cool. I'm sorry, did I say 18 feet per second? Three feet per second, sorry. Uh, so there we go. In one second, he'll be at three feet. Where did he start? Remember, he starts at zero. He hasn't traveled anywhere, so it's zero, zero. In one second, he's here. So in two seconds, where would it be? He'll be at six feet. Two times the three, three times the three, four times the three. Or he's always adding three feet every second, however you want to think about it. So the table, we're good on that. Now the key is, can we turn it into the graph? So check this out. So remember, the first one is the x, that's time. The second one is the y, that's distance. Same thing over here. Here's your x, here is your y. So if I want to plot all these points, this is a point zero, zero. It makes this point right here. After zero seconds, he's gone zero feet. After one second, go over one second, how far has he gone? Three feet. Boom. Two makes what? Two makes six. Two seconds, six feet. Three seconds, where is it at? You got it. There's the nine. And four makes a 12. So it's proportional because it's always the same. And we said it's proportional. He's always going that same speed. Uh, he's not speeding up or slowing down. Always the same. So I'm going to draw a line straight through that. And I kind of cheated and used the tool there because I know my straight line would be rough. Good luck on yours. So there is Pac-Man if we make a graph of Pac-Man. So in this section, I'm going to give you a lot of the graphs. I'm not going to expect you to like plot the points every time and draw them. But please know that these are all points on the graph. So 0, 0 is the origin right there. 1 makes 3. 2 makes 6. 3 makes 9. This is a nice graph. Oh, fill that in. That looks good. 4 makes 12. And I could keep going. I could fill in the table and put all these points on there and make that straight line. Other things I want you to be able to do is to tell me what it means. And I think I'll type this because my handwriting. No, I'm going to write it. I apologize right now. Let's see what happens. Explain what the point means. So the point 3, 9, I can see it in my table. There's 3 makes 9. I can see it on my graph. Here it is, 3 makes 9. What does it mean? So anytime I ask you what does it mean in the situation, I just want you to label the thing. Is it 3 apples every 9 oranges, 3 days every 9 dogs? That makes no sense. I have no idea. What is this? Well, it means what? In 3 seconds, so in 3 seconds, I'm using my best handwriting possible. Ah, In 3 seconds, what happens? Pac-Man does what? Pac-Man travels nine feet. 
Pac-Man travels nine feet. That was not a little period in there. I was a little just typo. Let me get rid of that. Okay. That's one sentence. In three seconds, Pac-Man travels nine feet. So you are just kind of interpreting the graph or interpreting the table. We're just labeling it. So don't freak out what it means. I just want you to label, label everything. That's it. So we'd already done the verbal. We'd already done the table. That was one, 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 two. Now we're adding the graph part of this. We just keep adding a layer. It's like an onion. Just keep on adding layers. So how do we know? Here's the same graph. Here's Pac-Man over time. There's a nice fancy graph. How do we know if something's proportional by looking at the graph? Well, what do you notice about this graph? First thing I notice, number one, it's a straight line. Why? It's always changing the same. Remember, proportional means it changes the same. Proportional is change the same change the same so if it's going to do that it's going to have to be straight it's always three feet per second every single time uh what's the other thing we notice it has to happen it has to go through the origins or it has to contain the point zero zero remember the origin is just zero zero it means it just starts here at zero zero if not automatically not proportional not going to work done and done so that makes a nice proportional graph. This is the key things to know. When you have to justify as a proportional, it needs to do both of these, boom and boom. Can't be one or the other, it's gotta be both. Awesome, I feel like we're crushing this. So let me give you uh, two of these and then we're gonna kind of identify some. I'm gonna tell you that these are proportional, why? See how it starts at zero, zero, straight line? So this is proportional, same thing here, starts at zero, zero, proportional, straight line. I want you to find the constant of proportionality, again, the unit rate, how fast is it changing? And it all goes back to, again, this K equals Y over X. There it is, not going away. It's the whole chapter, it's a good chunk of the year. So if I look at this first one, I've got the number of tickets sold and the cost in dollars. Now, maybe I'm going to a movie or something, I'm not really sure here. But again, this is your X axis, this is your Y axis. So what is K gonna be? Well, if I come down here and find K, all I gotta do, remember it goes X comma Y, or whatever, here's five tickets, see five tickets is $40. So I'm gonna put the Y over the X, so make sure the 40 goes on top. So it really matters now, it is 40 over five. You can't do it the other way. You must say 40 over five. What is 40 over five? That reduces, yeah? 40 divided by five is eight, so K is eight. If I wanted to label it, what would it be? Well, this was what? This was $40 every five tickets sold. So when I find K in this case, what does it mean if I had to put in context? It means what? It's $8 per ticket. Ooh, handwriting, rough. $8 per ticket. Rock and roll. Okay, come over here. There's no story problem or context. This is just straight up a graph. It's still X. It's still Y. It's always going to be X and Y like that. But I put two points. I may have three points, four points, 100 points. It doesn't matter. Pick any points you want. Uh, I'm gonna pick the 45 over 30. I like that one, 45 over 30. But the key is it has to be X comma Y. It's always X comma Y. So you have to do 45 over 30. You could have easily, if you wanted to, picked 15 over 10. Either one of these is right, but I'm gonna make you reduce them. So uh, let's see, Let's re this one's smaller. I'm gonna start there. Let's reduce this. What goes into 15 and 10? I think five does. Five goes into 15 three times. Five goes into 10 two times. So K is three halves. Or I could do the same thing here. 15 goes into that three times. 15 goes into that twice. I get something like this. If you're not down with the fractions, sometimes I really like the decimal. Sometimes it's easier for these word problems to use a decimal. Totally down with it. Let's just make sure we're cool. What is 45 divided by 30? It is three halves or 1.5. So you can say 1.5, one and a half. Or you can say three over two. And if you don't believe me, type in 15 over 10. You're going to get one and a half. That's it, so we're finding that constant proportionality or that unit rate. Boom, we are killing it, just killing it. Let's wrap this up here, I think this is nice. So are these proportional? Now that we know what proportional graphs look like, are these proportional? It's just a yes or no. How about this guy right here? Well, it's a straight line, but is it proportional? No, oh my gosh, what is that? I was a terrible, no. Put a little sad face here, why not? It's a straight line but it does not go through the origin. Does not go through the origin. So you're gonna have to tell me why it is proportional or not. So this one doesn't contain the point zero, zero. If it doesn't go through zero, zero, right off the bat, it's not proportional. How about this next one? Is this proportional? Well, it goes through the origin. Check, is it a straight line? Check, so yes. Why? It is a straight line. So I know that it's straight line and what it goes through the origin. So that is all good right there. 
it goes through the origin and I'm gonna put a little happy face by this guy because he is proportional is this guy proportional well, let's take a look goes to the origin check I'm digging that is this straight line no it's all curvy curvy here so this is a no you got part of it but it's not a straight line not a straight line you cannot curve or change speeds uh, not a straight line that's for later on that's not for proportional and that is it so practice these graphs I think they're a lot of fun I love graphing uh, put these in context good luck on the master check every time you think see pac-man think of waka 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 waka